And welcome to another episode of Experts Speak. I am Michael DeLon, and I'm here today talking with Luke Vanderveer. Luke, thank you, sir, for taking some time and squeezing me into your uh, your schedule, getting off the lake in your jet ski, so you'll talk to me a little bit. Thank you for doing that. Absolutely, Michael. Thanks for having me on. Oh, uh, you're you are welcome. This is going to be a really fun conversation because Luke does something I don't think I've ever heard of before, but it's really fascinating. has has, has had a lot of success on. All right, you got this. Renting websites to create passive income. And I want to learn more because it's very, very intriguing. So tell me, Luke, as we as we take the springboard into this, this deep river and, and lake here, how in the world did you get to doing this? Oh, trying a lot of different stuff. <laughs> Growing up, I had that uh, that path that everybody seems to take, you know, the the work, just work a job. You know, you go to school, get a job, work forever. And uh, I started doing that because that's the only thing I was taught, right? Everybody in my circle did that. Yeah. My father's a brick and mortar business owner, well, chiropractor, owns his own practice. Mother's a psychiatric nurse, two brothers, but everybody, family, friends, everybody I know has a job they're tied to or a business they're tied to. Nobody has passive money and nobody has any time to do what they want. <laughs> so I expected that, you know, life is just going to suck after school and I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> after uh, after being in there for a while, just working, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't do this for four years. I just can't. I was like, there's got to be something else that I can do. And I just made a decision to do something about it. And I started trying different businesses and um, all of them made a little bit of money, but it wasn't until I finally figured out that money wasn't the problem. It was time. Once I figured that yeah. out, I could reroute a little bit. And uh I started doing lead generation. I hadn't quite figured out the time problem yet. Mm -hmm. Built an SEO agency. I had a bunch of clients. All I really did was create a high paying job for myself. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't buy you any time. It just hit me. I was like, okay, how do I, how do I like get that money without me being involved all the time? And it was really just taking ownership. I was like, mm -hmm. what if I just treated websites like real estate? I could just rent this out. I don't have to deal with it. It's digital. So I don't really have a tenant. It's like a tenant, but I don't have to like fix bathrooms and have walls crumble or any of this. And it doesn't cost as much. It's like, let's just try that. And that was a fix for me. I got all my time back, still make the money from the same type of clients. And uh, yeah. that's it. Okay. All right. So now you're going to have to really just dive in and, and pull back the curtain <laughs> because I am still like really confused going treat websites like real estate. Okay. I understand owning real estate and renting. I get that. How do you do that with a website? Uh, under, help us understand the business yeah. that you're in and how you help other people do this. This is amazing. It's just making websites valuable because a, a website, if you think about it, is like, it's like a business card, right? The business card is not valuable until you get it in the right person's hands. It's just a piece of paper. It's just sitting there. Same thing with a website. I don't care if you pay $30,000 for it. It can be super pretty and all kinds of bells and whistles. But if it's not at the top of the search results where people see it in search engines like Google, the most popular one on the planet, nobody finds that site, right? And 99% of business owners don't know how to do it. So if you can get a website to the top of the search results where people see it, now customers are calling in. Now for me, I don't, I didn't own any other business, right? I know people who do plumbing and concrete and trees and all these other things, but I didn't own anything. So I figured, what if I just take that website, I generate the leads for it, and then I'll just charge somebody and send them all the leads. It'll just be like an exclusive deal. I'll just take it. I'll have it rerouted to them and I'll take the money. For the site rental and just treat it like a property. Interesting. So you are all right. So you're building the website yep. for for a company. Yep. And then they're paying paying, they're renting that website for you from you. Yeah. And yeah. So I'm building it like I own it. I'm not I'm not building it specifically for anybody. I'm just building it for something that looks profitable. So say, you know, plumbing in Rochester, New York looks profitable. I'm building a site for that. I start getting leads for plumbing. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I got the leads. People are calling me for plumbing in Rochester. I got to go find a plumber who wants those leads. And that's easy. So I just find a plumber who wants those. They pay me and I send them everything from that site. So now I get passive money. They get tons of work. Win -win. I, okay. So you're not fixing my sink then, my, my leaky no. sink. No, no, no. You have figured out, in a sense, really, what, does the, what is the market looking for? 
whether right. it's local or whether it's it's national, you can be a coach, right? And doing the same thing. Right. People are searching for solutions to problems. And what what you figured out is how to create a website for each of these different problems to and, and drive traffic to that website to capture the lead. And then you're selling that lead to a client who's right. come to you and said, I need business. Is that is that kind of Garrett? Minus minus the client coming to me, I just contact them and then they don't realize they need it. So they have a conversation with me and they're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we, we could use this for sure. <laughs> that is that is fascinating. So do you do this locally across the nation, around the world? Oh no, all over the world. It, it works everywhere with Google. It's just it's just leveraging Google to generate leads organically so that you're not paying constantly for traffic like most business owners do. Okay, say that again because my audience didn't get it because I'm sitting here going, what did you just say? Leveraging yeah. Google. Yeah, so if you think about it, like if let, let's run through an example. Let's say, um, you know, your roof caves in. Yeah. Who do you call for that aside from insurance? Yeah, but roofer. Roofer. I, mean, okay, I would so Google roofer, Google, right? If you don't know that person, you're Googling it, right? Right. Yeah, that's what most people are going to do. So, you know, studies have shown from multiple companies that have confirmed this. People just go straight to Google. And typically, it's just one of the first few people. They'll either pick somebody with the top reviews or maybe the first guy, second guy. They're not going 10 pages back, right, to find it. Yeah. 80 roofers all do the same thing. Why, why do you have to look at 80 different companies, right? Nobody has right. that time. So they're just going to pick that top person. So that's just leads coming in. And now, you know, if um, if those leads are coming into a website, we can simply... I, if I'm a roofer, I can take those and build my own business. If I'm not, I can automate the process of generating those leads and sending them to a business and charge them for it recurring mm -hmm. in right. a passive way. So for me, that allowed me to escape my nine to five years yeah. ago. That's fascinating. Okay. Because, yeah, because that's a little bit different than what I thought coming into it. So you're generating this website based on any any niche that you determine yeah really yep. it can be car repair it could be i mean it could be diamonds it could be anything anything and then so so you create a website to get these people to click on a google search let's say i'm trying i'm trying to explain this in my head so my so so somebody clicks um engagement rings chicago whatever yes. and they hit one of the top two or three google links one of those happens to be your site. Yes. They go, they see some website, they opt into something to give me more information. You're taking that, and now you go to a jeweler in Chicago and say, "Hey, I'm generating, you know, 20 engagement engaged couples every week or month or whatever who are looking for a jeweler. Would you have any interest in having their information or something like that?" Yeah. Exactly. And the jeweler says, uh, yeah, let me pray about that. Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> They're like, absolutely. And, and do, so do they pay on do your clients like pay only when you create lead? I mean, how, this is this is like amazing. Yeah, I mean, so there's a lot of ways to do it, right? You could charge people uh, commissions like off what they make. You could do a percentage of the deal. You could do all kinds of stuff. I yeah. I personally only do flat fee. Yeah. I have like uh, just a few websites that are off commission because you have to trust that the person can actually close sales, and I don't trust. Right. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's but, true. Uh, I'm mostly just flat fee rentals because that's what keeps it passive for me. They have a set fee that they're going to pay. And what they're making from the site is way more than I'm charging them. So it would really be stupid for them to quit. And I set it up right. like that way purposely. Yeah. Well, and they don't have the maintenance aspect of, of the website. I mean, right. all of that. And and I assume they have their own websites and things probably. But <laughs> you just happen to be generating leads because you understand how to do the marketing and how to do how to get that that. Google, I mean, so you're using, that's why you said leveraging Google. It's not like you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on paid advertising, to, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what most business owners do because they don't know how to do this organically with their websites. That's fascinating. Okay. Wow. I'm processing because it, you're just, you're, you're blowing my mind here going, okay. Now, so you now, so today, Luke, you you could easily say, I'm, I'm going to go do the research. And I'm going to figure out that in Denver, Colorado, there's a there. Everybody is Googling for something, a ski resort lodge in Denver, whatever. Yeah. You know how to then spin up a website 
and get it to the top of Google so yes. that people who are searching for ski lodge vacations in Google or whatever in Colorado are going to hit that site to get you the lead so that you can go to some ski lodge in Denver and say, I've got people coming to me who need you. In a sense, here's my flat fee and I can provide these on a regular basis. So it's, it's, it's instead of pay per click, it's pay per lead in a sense, but you're just doing all the work for them. Is that, am I there? Yeah, it's just, it's not, uh, it's, it works. It's easier for certain things than others, right? Well, so, yeah, sure, sure. You know, I, I don't know that I do a lodge. That'd probably be tough because there's a lot of other stuff, right? I'm picking <laughs> on what's, what's going to be easy, right? What's, what's high value and what's easy. So I'm looking at things like, you know, what's the sales cycle? I want a sales cycle that's short because if I get somebody a potential lead, but they're not going to close the lead for half a year, they're not going to make any money. So they don't want to work with me. I okay. want instant proof. So I need something short sales cycle. Sure, I sure. want something high value, right? So like hair, I can't do $25 haircuts because I'd have to generate a zillion leads for them to for charge them anything. Yeah. So I need something more expensive. Um, I want something with, you know, a pretty big size population so I can make sure there's enough search volume. If enough people don't call, it's again, not worth anything. I want something where um, preferably it's not a physical location. I could do it for that. But it's harder to convince somebody to get up off their butt and go somewhere than it is to simply call somebody and have somebody come to them to do a service. Okay. So like all these little things, you can kind of narrow down a niche that it you know, works really well if you want to create that kind of passive piece. Or sure. you just use that SEO skill set to generate leads for yourself. Then it doesn't yeah. really matter what you do. Okay. And and so and th and that's a good pivot point because we could go all kinds of directions here you help people become you in a sense you help yeah. people do this talk a little bit about that because i i'm intrigued i know there's got to be some listeners intrigued going okay what's the magic sauce how do you do this talk about how you work with somebody whether they're a, a, a budding entrepreneur a college student or a seasoned business owner right or or whatever how do they take that step how do they work with you what do you do with them yeah, so uh, they got to understand the the couple paths you can take, right? Because it can help a lot of people in different ways, and not everybody okay. understands that. Um, the process we talked about of you know identifying a niche that looks profitable, spinning up a site, generating some leads, and then finding somebody to rent it that can create that passive income. And I've seen you know business owners have used it, nine to fivers have used it. If you're the business owner, you can generate leads for yourself and for others. If you're the nine to fiver, you can just generate leads for others. You can take percentages of, of equity in people's companies. You can do a lot of things with this. So if you're the nine to five, or you can just build an income and quit your job. If you're the business owner, you can generate leads or just create passive income, whatever you want to do. Now, the people need two things. They have to understand that process of website rental, and they have to understand local SEO. So that's, I have a coaching program that I teach this now. Um, it's kind of the fallout from my old SEO agency because I had that. And when I decided I'm not doing this anymore, I'm only doing website rental. I basically fired all my clients. I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Here's other people you can trust. If you want SEO services, I'm not going to be doing it for you. I'm going to do it for me. And if you want to rent stuff for me, you can. Yeah. And a lot of them were like, well, I mean, if you're not doing it for us, can you just teach us how to do it? And I, again, created another job for myself accidentally trying to do one-on-one -on -one until I realized I could still get them the same results as a group. So that's kind of where it started. And um, it's fulfilling. So I've been doing that ever since. And in the group, you know, um, that community, I'm teaching people how to not only use SEO, but how to follow this process so that they can do whatever they want to do, whether it's get leads, make more money, take back your time freedom. That yeah. was my thing. Yeah. And that's good. And I'm glad you, you hit that because so many people talk about the money, the money, you got the money, money. And well, as you've experienced, as a lot of us have experienced, we can generate money. Yeah. But we're locked in prison right. because we're serving all of our clients and we don't have the time freedom, which is really what most entrepreneurs desire from the get go. I want money so, th so that I can do what I want, when I want, with whom I want, with no concern for money. That's right. time. And, and that's what you're living. And that's what you're helping other people be able to create. Now, um, Let's explode one of the other myths. I assume it's a myth, right? This is not a coaching program where you're going to take it on Friday and on Sunday, you're going to start spinning up websites and making a million dollars next week. No. 
Talk yeah. talk a little bit about that. Set some expectations of this. This really, you need to look at this as a business, even if it's a side hustle. Yeah, but it is a business. Unpack that a little bit. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you have to treat it like a multi million dollar business because that's what many of us make with it. You just have to treat it like that. So, you know, five to ten hours a week is enough time to do it, but you have to go through and learn how to do local SEO. So how to take a website from in how to build one in the first place, how to take a website from invisible in the search results to the top of the search results, and then how to monetize it so you can turn it into something. And I've seen people do it in all ranges of time. So people ask me, you know, how fast can you go? It's tough to give a number because it's really depends on how much, how quickly a person can take something and apply it because you can learn stuff all day. You can get tons of information on YouTube and all kinds of things. But if you don't know how to apply it and you don't have somebody you can ask when you get stuck, it's impossible to get anywhere. Right. At least that's my experience over the past 70 years. Um, but I've seen people go as fast as 90 days. Like one of the guys I know, he's he was an Air Force soldier. He was in Hawaii uh, when he started. Um, he, what did he do? He got 80, 86 days. Three, he only did three sites, three sites, rented each one out, 2,200 a month, replaced his job, 86 days done. And then he moved from Hawaii to Colorado. Um, I've had a business owner come in, you know, three, four months. He built a single website, generating another 20, 20 grand additional profit on top of what he was already doing. So he went from like one crew, he was in concrete. He went from one crew to six crews. You know, he didn't really so much care about time. He just wanted more money. Um, you know, I got another guy who's got a multi-million dollar company in the credit finance space. He just kind of did this for fun. He started generating leads for himself and now he's ranked number one in like all these other competitive niches that people in those niches can't even rank for. So it's, it's kind of cool. You can really do whatever you want with it. And the time is, it's really how fast you're going to, uh, you're going to be able to go is whether you're willing to set aside time and prioritize this for a little while. There you go. And and it sounds to me like what you learn is a is a system. And my honest understands I'm big on systems. So what looks created is a system for you to understand this whole process, how to build the website that that will rank properly in Google in that niche that you've created or whatever and and once you learn that system and you apply it and you get one side up, then you have the skills and ability to go and get another one, get another one. And with your coaching program, they, they've got access to you in this group to be able to say, okay, something's not working. What am I doing wrong? And get feedback. And, and is, is that is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the roadblocks are inevitable. So you're going to hit them regardless. And it's like you can you can spend the years of time that I wasted trying to do it uh, or you could just ask. And I'll tell you what the answer is, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's as simple as that. I'd rather buy people's mistakes, which is what makes me go faster. Yeah. Buy my mistakes. I love that. Yeah. All right. So uh, we, I mean, I've got about a dozen other questions, but we'll save those for later because <laughs> I'm intrigued. I, I know my audience has to be, what, how do you, how do you, where do they get more information about your, your coaching program? Understand who you are, what you do and, and take that next step to go, Hmm. Where do they go? Yeah, I'll give you two sites. So okay. LukeVanderveer.com is just my personal name. If you go to that, that's got some more information about me. It's got a bunch of interviews with students and stuff who wanted to share uh, their experience. So you can feel free to check that out. It's also got a list of kind of what the coaching program entails. Website rentalcoaching.com has a video walking through this whole process and me really just showing step-by-step -step how I do this. Um, and then obviously there's an opportunity to work with me if, if they want to apply. Yeah. That's fascinating. Um, okay, yeah. Um, website rental coaching.com. I'm and, and Luke Vanderveer.com. I'm going to take those and we're going to have them in the show notes because you know we're we're all busy and we're usually listening to podcasts as we're walking the dog or working or doing taking walks. But no worries, I've got this in the show notes because this is really an intriguing thing that can help you um add, either add another revenue source to to your coffers. Your I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, gosh college kids if you've got if you're an entrepreneur and you've got kids you need to send to college this might be a really cool way to do it um because your kids are smarter than you most of the time 
and send them through the process. But there's you're opening up this whole um, gamut of opportunity for people without them having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to start their own business, to buy a franchise, to do something else. And it's a model that's proven you're doing it. You've got other people doing it. And I love the fact that it's community-based because you've got this group coaching program and you can pay for Luke's mistakes. You can buy his mistakes and learn faster. Um, that's really, it's really cool, Luke, what, you, what you've created here. Um, well done, well done. So can I, can I say one more thing about, uh, about that community? Absolutely. You know, it occurred to me as, as you're saying this, that community piece is so important because I mentioned like, I don't know anybody who, made any kind of money online. Nobody has time. It's like, if you don't have anybody in your circle who does any of this, all you have is those experiences from everybody else. So the ability to have a community where you can plug into and everybody's got that mindset and believes it's, it helps you move to that next spot. And I think that's the transition for me. And I've seen the same thing for a lot of people too, just getting into that, that community with those people so that you're yeah. around it all the time. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really good. Find out more website, rentalcoaching.com. And we're going to have all the links and everything in the show notes. Luke, this has been a fun, intriguing conversation. Thank you for being my guest on Experts Speak. Thank you for having me.